Hello everybody, this is your favorite MS4 snowman and I want everybody to have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas. Today we're going to be talking about snow, snowman. And I'm an expert on snow being a snowman because snow is what? It's water. And when snow gets deep, that's a lot of water when it melts. And you guys all know that when snow melts, oh my gosh, if you got a low area in your yard, you're going to get a lot of water. And we put salt and stuff on it to melt it because it's cold outside. And there's problems with salt and there's problems with little things involved with snow. Also, when you're putting the salt and stuff on it, you don't want to put a bunch of salt by an inlet and that type of stuff because then salt can get down the inlets with your gutters and your downspouts. Snow, ice melts and it creates a lot of capacity of water. Remember this, when manage your snow because when snow melts it's storm water. So when you have a bunch of snow, you want to kind of get it away from the edge of your foundation, if at all possible. Because when it melts, it's going to cause a lot of water to go down your foundation. And if you ever have any leaks or anything in your basement, it can actually exasperate it or make it a little bit worse. And again, the other thing is salt. When you're putting salt and de-icing compounds on your steps and on your porch and all that kind of stuff, just remember to be very diligent with that because salt is not good in storm water. It's good for melting snow and ice. I agree. But you got to be diligent with it because if it's on a driveway and stuff like that and you put a whole bunch of stuff out there, it's going to go right down the storm drain and we don't want that. Now also, one other thing for all of you out there, Stormwater MS4 folks, remember you only you can help us with our stormwater. However, there's also one thing you can do to help yourself. When you're putting down the de-icers, one of the things to remember is when you're spreading out your de-icer, do it weekly. Really, I don't mean day weekly, I mean a low amount, a low amount because you put heavy amounts on, you could be killing your own plants come spring. And it won't be growing because you killed them with salt in the winter. So remember, that's one of the things that uh, is very, very important. And if you have low areas in your yard, if, if at all possible, try not to put salt there. Because if you're putting it over here and water's going to run down to that low area, well, it's already going to have your de-icing amounts and items and stuff that are going to fill in the low area. So kind of keep it away from the low area because now you're just doing it double. For those of you that live next to lakes or ditches or rivers or ponds, it's very, very important to use a low amount of your de-icing compounds or your salts because where are they going to go? If you live close to water, the grade is going away from your home or your residence or your garage or your road, even out front, and it's going to the low areas, which are the water areas, the lakes, the ponds, etc., etc. So keep that in mind when you're using de-icing compounds because as the stuff melts, where's it going to go? It's going to go into those water bodies, and we don't want that. Try to keep a minimal amount where, where you know the water is in the spring and the summers because in the winter, Ground may be froze, but it's going to run across that just like it was a hard surface, and it's going to go to the low areas. So use minimal amounts in those low areas because low areas could be water, ponds, ditches, creeks. Also, one thing that's very important, when you're shoveling your driveways and stuff, always remember not to put stuff near the drain because a lot of people think, oh, I'll just shovel my snow to the drain, and when it melts, it's going to go down the drain. Well, that's true. That's what, that's what it's supposed to do, the water. However, the salts and the icy compounds that you've put on your driveway or on your sidewalks, and now you're going to push it with your tractor or hand shovel with you and the kids and the wife out there, and hopefully the wife's inside making hot chocolate. But either way, when you, when you do that, and all that stuff's going to go right to that storm drain, and we don't want those de-icy compounds in the storm drains, if at all possible. But there's one thing, I touched on it a little bit ago, but one thing that's very, very important for you, our MS4 folks that watch us all the time, remember, you're only hurting yourself, possibly, if you use de-icy compounds, around your areas or your rain gardens or around your plants and your bushes 
where your flowers grow in the spring and cut them up. Just, just keep that in mind because I don't want you to be hurting and destroying your own plants and your own vegetation because you can't do that. It will work. Salts will work. You don't have to overabundance, use a whole bunch. And always keep in mind, as it melts, it's going to go to a low area. So try to don't use the salts in the low areas because it's already going to run there. And keep stuff away from our storm drains. So thank you very much. And this is your favorite MS Moore snowman saying I hope everybody has great holidays.